she thinks she's going to lay here. I need to color. Good morning, neighborhood community. Going to have to move her. Mom's here. Start petting. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit better this morning. I'm getting a little better every day. Um, the antibiotics, I think, was a big, a big yes. And I'm glad I went to my doctor's and he gave them to me. Yeah. Because I am feeling better. And um, I can still feel like some of the infection in here, but it's definitely getting smaller. Yeah, just make sure you take them all. I am, and I'm taking them on time. Everybody remember that. Everybody hear that. <sighs> I am. A lot of people do this, including me. Once you start feeling better, you stop taking your antibiotics. And then you become immune to them. And then you become immune, or the, the bacteria or whatever it's in it becomes immune to them, and they come back, and you can't deep treat them anymore. That's what happens. So you got to be careful. Yeah. So I <clears> am <throat> taking them all, and um, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Good. So I think I'll be good by Christmas. <laughs> Is that it? Are you done? I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about right now. Mom's coming over. Uh, we're going to do some shopping. Bringing me soup. And then I, I have to build some closet doors. So, hopefully. Closet doors or cabinet doors? That's what I said. Cabinet doors. So, hopefully. I have proof that you said closet doors because it's on the video. I deny everything. <laughs> doesn't matter what anybody says. You're in denial. Denial. <laughs> this isn't Egypt. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right, so we'll check back in with you. Were you done? I've been done forever. <laughs> check. Are you done? Yes. We'll check back in with you guys later. All right, so I'm finally in my garage today. I need to cut these three doors. I have two of them here. Uh, these are bathroom cabinet doors with like a thousand coats of paint on it from a, a house that was built in the 50s. And um, he really wanted me to strip these doors down, but I am not going to do that. It's too much work, especially if there's louvers that are in them. So, um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a just a nice piece of plywood that's got a birch face on it and cut the doors out and then band it. And banding I mean I'm going to put a piece of wood on the edge that's uh, about three-eighths of an inch thick, not this particular one. But I might because it, you know, it's a scrap. It is walnut, but this is going to be painted. I have other scraps. I hope I have enough. I'm trying to figure it out right now how much I'm going to need and I'm hoping I don't have to go to the store and buy any because I don't want to buy any and it's got to be wood that's easy to sand because banding it if it's like maple I'm trying to sand it down to its level with the, uh, the plywood um, it's I have um, a big possibility of damaging the plywood trying to get the hard maple down so I don't want to work too hard piece of wood that I'm going to put on this plywood edge so that it disguises that it's a piece of plywood. I made sure everything was cut quite perfectly. There is going to be a little bit of fill that I'm going to have to do 
but uh, all I need to do now is uh, uh, glue and then tack these in with a, um, a brat nailer. Okay, so there's our original doors with the louvers, which were kind of cool. Um, I was not going to be able to fix those, so I, here's my new doors. Right now they look kind of silly, but all I have to do is uh, sand it all down, fill edges with, um, I could either use Bondo or some uh, uh, wood fill. Probably use Bondo since it's going to be a paint, uh, it's going to be painted. I only did butt edges because I don't care. It's not going to have to have that perfect 45 degree angle. So um, this goes with me to the job. And tomorrow I sand them and then fit them and put the old hinges onto it and fit them to the closet or to the uh, bathroom cabinet. And so I am done for today. This was actually quite a lot of work, but it was fun because I don't get into my garage and do woodworking that much. So, still have all this stuff to cut up and throw away. What you got? Sorry, I tired. So, hello, everybody. Hello. I hope everybody's having a lovely Friday and start to their weekend. Is today Friday or Saturday? Today's Saturday. Isn't oh, it? today's Saturday, isn't it? Well, I hope everybody's having a lovely Saturday and um, having a great weekend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I was a little confused. Mm -hmm. So, um, I really don't have much to say. I didn't do much today. I colored and just watched TV. I did stuff. Don't yawn. Oh, I'm very tired. But yawning makes my jaw hurt, so don't yawn. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, what did you do today? I, um, built some cabinet doors for the job tomorrow. That's cool. That's cool. That was it. Now you went shopping with mom? Yeah, I went shopping with mom. Mm -hmm. So we could eat. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to eat. There you go, you're yawning. It's because you got me started. <sighs> this is the picture I'm working on right now. Ooh, groovy. So, I probably won't finish it tonight because I'm getting pretty tired. Mm -hmm. It's only going on 8 o'clock. I know, isn't it terrible? I'm ready to go to sleep. Me too. But I still have to put up this video. Cat on the counter? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see the cat. I heard something. I heard something too, but I don't see the cat. Strange. Strange noises going on in this house tonight. Uh -huh. People. It's been getting rather chilly in here. That's why I'm in my Eeyore onesie. Mm -hmm. Plus it fits my mood. I'm rather blue today. Yeah. So... Anyhow, I think we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. Did you have anything you wanted to add? Not a thing. Not a thing? Mm -hmm. Angel, are you ready? So, please, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. So please leave us a favorite. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. I do answer each and every comment. Please share our video with your family and friends. But, most of all, 